guys! Today is mine and Bennett's last video with you guys. Remote learning has been really tricky for us, I think, but I think I think this has been working out pretty well. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the videos, um, and you can always go back and look at them whenever you would like, because I'll keep up my website and everything. But this is our last video. For our last video, I decided that we're going to get just a teeny bit messy. For this project, we are making Monet Bridge Finger Paintings. Monet was a really famous artist. He was an Impressionist painter. And that meant that his paintings, they just, it didn't look real. It was just kind of off a little bit. He liked really bright colors and it all just kind of blurs. His most famous paintings had flowers in them and water lilies and a bridge. So for our project, all we are going to need today, paint and tape. Um, masking tape or painter's tape works the best. To get started, first thing you're going to do is you're going to put tape on your paper to make a bridge. If you need to, um, I doubt you can see this in the camera, but on Bennett's paper we drew out the bridge really lightly with pencil and we can go back and erase it later. So, I'm going to rip off some pieces of tape for Bennett to tape onto his bridge. So you're just going to take these pieces in it and you're going to tape over the lines that I drew, alright? Sound good? Oh dear. That one a little bit long, didn't I? I can rip it off. Put that one here. And really make sure that you push it down. We don't want any little parts flapped up or anything on us. Mine looks like a puppy. Like a puppy? stuck in my hair. You have long hair. Watch your hair, apparently. <laughs> Otherwise, somebody might rip it out. Oh my gosh. Make sure that you're careful with your teeth so it doesn't get all wrinkled up. It happens. I just wrinkled mine up too. Me too. Oh my gosh. No good. Don't use that one. Look how gross it looks. I wrinkled it all. Oh, this one's all messed up too. We're struggling with the tape. <laughs> We're struggling with the tape over here today. Let me get this one fixed for you. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <pow. laughs> here, put that one there. Look, you made that one. <laughs> it's okay. Squish it all down. And make sure you don't forget to do the bars in between. So we have one, two, three. One, two, and three. I don't know. So you're gonna put How these are you doing that? Right there. How how am I doing what? I'm doing it quickle. Well, because I ripped all the tape for you. <laughs> Goof. Make sure that you squish them down. Look how flappy those are. We don't want any flappy tapes. My bad. All right, Bennett's is already all done. Um, I'm just gonna add a couple more pieces to mine. I think you guys get the gist of it. You already saw the final product. Oh, I'm ripping it. I'm messing it all up again. All right. So, I didn't even mess mine up. I know, Bennett's is all good to go. So, pretend that I have my two more lines there and then my bars. Bennett has his all done. <laughs> So you do a bottom, you do the top where the railing is, and then you have the bars for your railing. Ow. This is the fun part. Now you're going to take your paint and you are going to paint. Now, when we do this, we're only going to use one finger. How many fingers are we using, Bennett? One. 
when you are doing this, you'll dip it in whatever color you want to start with and just keep dotting until it runs out. And then you don't even need to clean your finger again. Just pick out the next color, dot, and start dotting. You want to cover up the entire paper. It's kind paper. of messy. It you is. can do this real quick. Yeah, but we have to cover the entire paper, so it does take a little bit of... No, no, no. You got to dot it. Just doing dots. All right. Dot, dot, dot. There you go. Be very careful. Don't be tempted to start, like, actually, like, finger painting like this. We're just doing dot, 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 Careful, don't break your finger. You don't have to be angry about it. Awesome, so can I show them this you really quickly? You would do that. Oh, was I? So Bennett did a great job on this one right here. Look, it's completely, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's completely filled. That's what you want Mine every like section Lego. to be like. Keep going. So he's gonna keep dotting all that. Once you have yours completely covered, um, you don't see any of the paper anymore, it's just all covered in all of these dots. I'm mixing it a little bit. That's okay. Once it's all Blocks. covered in these really colorful dots, okay, but careful. Then you're going to let it dry. Whenever it's dry, then you are going to peel off the tape. Um, depending, nope, dots. Depending on the kind of tape that you use, that'll depend on like how easy it is to peel off. Um, sometimes even the painter's tape kind of sticks to paper a little bit too much. When you that? peel it off. I do the top and the bottom now. With the bottom, maybe make it like, oh, maybe make it like a lot of blues and greens because it's kind of like water. Tots, tots, tots. Those are tots. There you go. All right, so when you peel it off, you do want to be very careful. Kind of peel it at an angle like this and just go very slowly. If you peel it back like this really fast, that's what usually ends up causing it to rip. So Bennett and I, we're just going to keep dotting our papers, finishing up our really awesome looking bridges. And that's going to be it. Super short, super easy video today. I hope you guys enjoy this project. And I'll see you sometime, I hope. All right, guys. Bye.